We are in Tucson, Arizona for an elimination game this afternoon as the top seed, the regular season and tournament champion of the Pac-12, the Arizona Wildcats, host the Dallas Baptist Patriots, champions of the Conference USA tournament. Here's how... Yesterday, the offense for Dallas Baptist managed just four hits. Pitch hit skied in the air to right, going back on it and making the catch on the warning track is time up the fastball a little bit better that's, today. That's what they've been, been gauged on. You've seen the early swings on that and a good job and good plate discipline right here to set up an inning early. Kraus draws the walk. So he's aboard with one. Let's see what he does here. The one two. Swing and a miss. He went around. They appeal to third, and Brandon Cooper says he went two outs. That's a beautiful setup right there. Two. Swing and a drive down the right field line. Going to be a long run for Corona. He can't get it. It'll land in the corner, and it's extra bases. Kraus being waved around third. Here comes the relay. It's not in time. An RBI triple for Mickey Santos, and Dallas Baptist leads one to nothing. Now we said. The 1-0. Swing and a pop-up. Shallow right center. Summerhill coming over and coming in is Corona. The right fielder will make the catch. And the inning is over. But Dallas Baptist gets the lead on the ender. The pitch. Swing and a miss. He's down on strikes and the leadoff man going to the Arizona first. Well, the exact sequence that Jerry DeBerry has gotten the majority of his strikeouts on. Get ahead and get to that good old slider. <laughs> The one two swing and a miss. Summerhill down on strikes. Back to back strikeouts for DeBerry to start the bottom of the first. One of the bright stars of this Arizona lineup. Two two swing and a liner down the left field line. That one's going to get down and roll all the way into the corner. Mason White with a two out, two strike double. The ball bobbled and he'll hold on at second and he's in scoring position with two down in the first. Here's the 1-1. One, one. Little looper into right, racing over, slowing and making the catch is Pendergast. And the inning is over. Arizona threatens if they don't score. We played one. Dallas Baptist leads one nothing in this elimination. Not sure if this is the college equivalent, but you said it. When you have your number six hole hitter leading you in homers and four or five guys in front of him have double digits, that's pretty good. That's Grant Jay, who is their leading home run hitter, who just singles past the diving white. And Walty already started over. You almost get a couple more inches of the plate for that umpire to look for. The 0-2. That's a good miss. Kind of the chasing high fastball. The 0-1. Swung on and hit high in the air to right center field. Over Summerhill calling for it. Makes a catch for out number two. Jay back to first. That's like a base runners. He's going, a delayed steal, and a roller to first. Splain has it, and he'll tag the runner. Heifner going by, and the inning is over. So Walty pitches around the leadoff single. We head to the bottom of the second. one nothing down. We had a couple of guys transfer out, including Aiden May, who's been the Friday guy at, at, uh, at Oregon State this year. But they rebuilt this pitching plan with the new pitching coach, Kevin Vance. He has not been in the lineup as much lately. That one off the end of the bat, and that'll be an easy play for DeBerry. Under hands the first two outs. Now some weak contact now uh, through the first couple of frames here that DeBerry has been able to induce. And let's say it to us again today. I told you yesterday, playing first base isn't easy. 2-2. <laughs> two -two. On the ground to short. Hefner waits back. He will throw to first in time to get Splain. A 1-2-3 second for <laughs> Chris Burke would agree. I would say that squeeze play is the best invention of the BB Corner. So, rip through the left side, a leadoff single for Detallo here in the Dallas Baptist third. That is the case. Then it kind of gives me a read on the selection. That one lined up the alley in left center field. It's going to get down and it'll roll all the way to the wall. Detallo around third. He will score. Chayton Krause an RBI double. It's two nothing Dallas Baptist. First pitch. Poole swings and unloads. Deep right field. Way out of here. 4-0 DBU. 
<laughs> you talk about no doubter. That one was destined to take a letter out of the Terry Francona hitting center. Holy cow, was that absolutely crushed. That's the DBU slug we're used to. Four nothing early here on Cam Walty and the Wildcats. 407 feet on the home run. He hit it more than 110 miles an hour. That was blasted. That's a hang and bang right there. No doubter he knew it. And with the uh, early afternoon here as we'll get a visit to the mound. You have to try and, and stand guys up inside. Breaking ball swung on. Popped up into right. Corona will make the catch for out number one. I would think a few more of those. Team can speed up on you a lot right here. Got to be effective. Man skies that one to center. Uh, Summerill under it for out number two. And to team with that, if you want to take advantage of DBU feeling good about themselves, you'd see their their team who will likely be a first round pick. That one lined into left center field, a base hit for Jay. He is two for two. A two out single continues the inning for Nathan Humphreys. Dallas Baptist looks about as comfortable in the box as we've seen. Back to the middle, gloved by Caulfield. He'll take it to the bag, and the inning is over. But Dallas Baptist scores three times the big blow. <laughs> I think we've all been there. I mean, not me personally. <laughs> Sweet the best. Bryfogel down on strikes. After missing two weeks worth of starts because of a hand injury, he had been out of the lineup since May 16th. Available just to pinch run before that. He's down on strikes, two outs. Five strikeouts already the first time through the order for DeBerry. This pitching way ahead all the time. DeBerry doing the same today. And a missed ball four. First walk issued by DeBerry. As the fastball missed the outside corner. And just the single swinging at the first pitch. They're just trying to stay away from the slider at all costs. Chicago kid rips it to first, right to Kraus, who takes it to the bag himself, and the inning is over. Arizona leaves a mark. One of the rare rallies that Dallas Baptist trying to put together yesterday with an opposite field base hit. He lines that one into left center field. That's a single. As he'll take the turn at first. It's 0 1. And that could be two. Slowly hit, they'll get the out at second. And a big throw for the Fourth. The 0 1. Popped up. Shallow right, out the second baseman, Caulfield in. Corona calling for it, has it. And a crisp, efficient inning for Cam Walt. That's why we make the fences really high. <laughs> Don't climb my wall. <laughs> I hit to first. Krause has it. He'll underhand there. You know. Krause yesterday got chances in college baseball. Uncharacteristic to see a couple of miscues from them yesterday. There's a line right now on left center field. A base hit. Aaron Caulfield a single. Arizona. Climb for Arizona. Popped up. And it's the pitcher who will make the play. Two outs. For once, there was no one there to call the pitcher off. He didn't need anybody. Here it is. Outside ball four. A harm no foul as Guzman reaches second walk for DeBerry. And now here's Tommy Splain. We mentioned earlier he's had a lot of big hits for this club. Arizona threatening down 4 0. The pitch. Swing in the liner to center, and right there is Humphreys to make the catch, and the inning is over. Arizona threatens, but they don't score. Final in 22, where they lost to eventual national champion Ole Miss. And that one lined in the left field. Chayton Krause has been on base all three times today as he leads off the fifth with a single. To make it 4 nothing, DBU. Rushes this one to deep left field. Back to the fence. It's gone. Tom Poole's second home. to the deepest park on an oppo pop look at this look at how far this ball travels 
I mean, that is a monster homer, and right now, huge two-run homers. Santos in the air to left. And easy play there. Just night and day uh, what Dallas Baptist, and, and this is what they're built on. Expected, especially with the momentum coming in off the Pac-12 tournament and, and just even the second half of their season. Swing and a miss. Man down on strikes, two outs. And he delivers. Swing and a miss. Foul tip into the glove of Guzman, and the inning is over. Haney retires all three that he faced to win that game 4 to 3. But Johnson fed 14. And that was a good start for Arizona. A wrong way single for Bryfel will lead off the fifth. Something to build off, okay? Baby steps. And that's good for the ball. Long hold in the 2 2. Swing and miss. Corona down on strikes. Swing at number six for DeBerry in the first out of the fifth. That's what Arizona's offense is trying to do. Get the ball rolling. Pitch. Morales takes high, ball four. Third walk issued by DeBerry. Out of faith. First pitch. Swing and a roller to the right side. Kraus has it. His only play will be to first, and they get it there in time. Summerhill retired. The runners move into scoring position. They saw Kraus. He was thinking possibly two. He thought the three-two. Swing and a high pop-up. Right center field coming in is Humphreys. He's got it. Inning over. And a fired up Jaron DeBerry walks back into the dugout. Overall number one seed in the Knoxville Regional. That will not come to pass. 2-2 two -two popped up. Left sign. Morales, the third baseman, makes the catch. One out. He left it all out there in a critical juncture there in the fifth. Grounder to second. Caulfield has it. Throw up Pendergrass, two outs. 2-2. Two -two. Roller to the right side. Caulfield has it. And it's a 1-2-3 inning for Haney here in the sixth. He set down all six that he's faced. Through five and a half, all Dallas Baptists, they lead six to nothing. Starter, and not just because it's hot here, but because too many pitches and too many looks from the opposing offense. But so far, DeBerry's been in control as he gets Caulfield to pop out to start the sixth. One, two, popped up. Racing over is the shortstop Heefner to make the catch. And that's out number two. Alone on that side of the infield, the shortstop had a long. DeBerry rocks and delivers. Missed down low, ball four. That's the fourth walk he's issued. Still Arizona batting here in the sixth. The pitch. Swing and a fly ball deep to center field. Humphreys has room, shy of the track. Makes the catch. Six shutout innings for Jaron DeBerry. The one-two. In the air to center. Summerill coming in a couple of steps. Makes the catch. That's out number one. Well, Kyler Haney, a really good job, too. The pitch. Kraus in the air to left. That one pretty well struck. Going back and now circling shy of the track. Making the catch as Bryfell go for out number two. Later. And Poole hits that in the air to center field. Summerhill going back. He's got room, though. And shy of the track makes the catch. And a 1-2-3 inning for Pluta. In fact, nine in a row set down by the Arizona bullpen. Anything to try and wrap their hands around to get going. And the 2-1 to Bry Fogel. Uh, wrapped on the ground to second. Santos will throw him out. One gone. Arizona with just eight run homers from his DH, Tom Poole. First pitch popped up. Right side, Kraus calling for it. Squeezing two outs. He's and he had not just such command for it, but got swings and misses in the zone with it. I, it. Sometimes it's just a tough draw, and that's what it feels like today for Arizona. That's no consolation, but it's a 1-2-3 inning for Binge. The pitch. Swing and a high fly ball to left, racing over for it as Bryfogel will make the catch. A nice running grab for out number one. Boy, yet again, the is ending. 
and it's a, a very, very emotional time for those people who have ties to the Pac-12. As somebody who grew up in the Midwest, man, the Pac was the coolest, right? Like the one-two. Jay swings and misses, and the inning is over. Boy, Arizona's bullpen has done its job. They've set down 12 in a row. They need their bats to come alive. They have six outs to play with in their season, trailing Dallas Baptist 6 0 in this elimination game. For DBU, the, the guy that came to mind, they have not had to use Connor McKay yet. Yep. Their sensational closer. 3 2, foul tip into the glove of Jay, one out. In wholeheartedly for this Wildcat offense. The 0 2. Swing and a miss. White chases one in the dirt. Jay will throw it around the diamond. Two outs. Fifth inning with a single. They have just one base runner since then. Bouncer back through the middle. There's that second hit. As Caulfield, a two out single to keep the inning alive. Not get through this inning with Ridings. Swing and a bouncer to short. Hefner has it. Goes the short way for the forts. Inning over. We head to the ninth. Dallas Baptist, six outs away. Plus stuff. Humphreys in the air to center. Summerhill's there, one out. I'm sure head coach Chip Hale had visions of him being able to. <laughs> yeah, if it's a. Wider down the left field line towards the corner. That's a base hit for Hefner. The shortstop on his way to second, and he'll get there standing with a two out double in the ninth. Uh, he's been solid here in the first couple of days of this region. Five and two if they finish this thing off when scoring first. And a liner over the head of a leaping Morales and down the left field line. Coming home to score is Hefner, RBI single for Detallo. It's seven to nothing, Dallas Baptist. The 2 2. Bounce to third and pass Morales into left field. Dadella will stop at second, and now Poole will get one more chance already with two home runs in this game. Here's the 1 2. Swing and a miss. Poole down on strikes. Inning over. Dallas Baptist tacks on a run. They are three outs away from continuing their season. Before the season started, they won the regular season and tournament championship. And Guzman pops out to short to start the ninth. Grid out for you. But take a look. It's playing to left. And Man will make the catch for out number two. And Arizona down to its final out, trailing seven to nothing in the ninth. Did what we thought we could do. Now we'll wait the winner of West Virginia and Grand Canyon if they can finish it off. Brian Fogel battles back from down 0-2 to draw a two-out walk. Good at bat by the freshman not giving here at the University of Washington. Takes a pitch in the dirt and gets away, and that'll get Brian Fogel the second. Yeah, almost at this point. Regional so far. Two and one. On the ground, off the umpire. And into shallow center, that'll be a base hit. A dead ball, and there's runners at the corners, and the lineup will turn over. The 0-2. Swing and a pop-up. Shallow right center. Coming in is the right fielder making the catch. Is Pendergrast, and Dallas Baptist has eliminated the top seed in Tucson. They beat Arizona 7-0 today. The Wildcats go 0-2 in their home regional. And the Patriots stay alive where they will take on the loser of tonight's 1-0 game between West Virginia and Grand Canyon. Sensational pitching performance by Jared DeBerry and the bullpen that makes it stand up. But the Dallas Baptist offense.